welcome to another episode of the Wrestling Burn with your host Parksy and the Zombie. Has he been on TV lately? I didn't watch Raw this week. I'm talking about Raw. Um, oh yeah, because there was something with the bunny, right? Yeah, he. No, he fought on SmackDown. Was yeah, but Raw? on Raw there was something about the yeah, bunny. Yeah, the bunny attacked um, Heath Slater. Who is, did they say who the bunny was? No, it's Zach Ryder. Big, da- big guy. It's Zach Ryder. Yeah. Probably the taller, is. well, the taller bunny is Zach Ryder, and the shorter one is uh, Justin Gabriel. Nice. I got a Zach Ryder um, clothing card. Did you? Yeah. Oh, that's probably worth nothing it's now. Probably worth about a whole quarter. I mean, how much do you think that was worth, though, in, like, 2011? When he first came out and was big for those five minutes, it was probably worth probably about $25, $30. Probably. Now you're probably going to be able to get rid of it for maybe. $3, $3, maybe. $0.99 cents of that. You think? I, uh, I actually picked up a Miz autograph card. Oh, boy. With a, and a jersey card of the Miz. Those are probably jumping up right now because he's actually a prime spot on TV. I was looking at all the shit and it ain't going for dick. So I ended up putting the two together yep. and put them up on eBay. So if you, anybody who likes The Miz, I mean, you know, we don't, I don't care for The Miz that much. It's up there. I started it off at 99 cents. Happy bidding. There you go. And that's, that's the Wrestling Burn the, eBay store. The Dash Wrestling Dash Burn. The Dash Wrestling Dash Burn. You, yeah, you can't separate Space. it or whatever. Yeah. So. All right, fair enough. Um, did was Sandow Damian Mizdow again this week? He is Miz's stunt double now. I guess it's going to be a permanent thing. Fuck. Yes. Oh. And the Miz won the match because the stunt double interfered. Or yeah. So, Damian yeah, Sandow making an impact. I think it's going to be a thing for a little while. All right. Well, as long as he has a gimmick, as long as he has has a, a spot, I'm okay. Yeah. Which you know they still had plans for him because if. He wasn't one of those guys that was jobbing all the time without, like, direction. He, it's not like one week he was on, one week he was off. I think it's a way for him to actually turn face. I Yeah, I think it's a way for him. Well, not turn face, but I think it's a way to get him over and just get him out of that gimmick that was yeah. getting a little stale. I mean, after the John Cena title, uh, Money in the ba- or Briefcase Cash-In loss, he kind of got a little stale. So they needed to refresh him. I think that this is honestly a pretty good way to do it. As much as I don't like the Miz, I like that pairing. Yeah, but it's not too bad. I still hate the Miz. Yeah, but the gimmick wise, the way it's going, it's 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 okay, I guess. And again, I did it last week. I'll do it again this week. I'm giving Miz props for making the Intercontinental Title a little more relevant. It's getting a full storyline. Yeah. When was the last time it got that? Now they need to start doing that with the other belt. Yeah. No. <laughs> Because that would mean they'd shove Sheamus down our throats every week. Well, they kind of did this week on SmackDown. No, oh, I don't count SmackDown. Yeah, a little bit. Well, it's kind of the same stories now. They're just, they're moving. Because uh, Cena and the whole gang were on SmackDown. It was like it? a 10-man tag team match, yeah, it right? Yeah, total ridiculous. Oh, I bet. I bet it was awful. Yeah, it was. And Cena's walking around the ring like he's invincible now. He is. He's always been invincible. He, he had, um, he's trying to prove that he can beat... He, Brock Lesnar in the ring, and he's talking all this crap that he's going to do to Brock Lesnar what Brock Lesnar did to him. And Not going to happen. I, I just think that's if, if they push that match that way and have Brock Lesnar get destroyed by get John dominated, Cena, you might I, as well. I really think I'm done bye with bye. You, It's bye-bye Brock Lesnar. I think I'm done with wrestling. Really? Uh, yeah, if they do that, I'm... And you know what? That would be the, that's kinda, that would be the belt tying, the belt win to tie Ric Flair at 16. I was reading an article today about wrestling, and it was saying that they think if TNA actually goes under, then the WWE could be next. Really? Because of competition-wise, and I guess people are kind of falling out of it because of the whole crappy storylines, and wrestlers, the wrestlers aren't interesting like they were in the Attitude Era. That's true. And again, another new Attitude Era thing posted on WWE Network this week. Awesome. I, and I think that's where they're trying to bring people in. They need to stop. If they want kids to watch wrestling, maybe have a separate show for kids. But their main... How do I say this? Their main audience was 18 to 35, and they did it to match WCW. But if you look back... And I'm just, I'm not condoning I, it. I think, I think they're it's doing a, it for the kids and the merchandise. Well, that was the thing. Back in, back before the, right before the Attitude Era, before the Monday Night Wars, 
the gimmicks were set for kids. It was back to a PG program. It wasn't until the Attitude Era yeah. and the Monday Night Wars that it got moved up to TV 14. Yeah. And, uh, but you think about it. Attitude what? Era was when the merchandise sales were the highest they've ever been in WWE Plus history. They're killing... They're killing us with the merchandise. I mean, action figure-wise... They're flooding the market with figures. Yeah, they, and I, that, there's that no sucks. way. There's no way figures these days are going to be worth what they were in old, like old the one, Hasbro, old like the old Hasbro's and whatever. Well, it's even, just not going to happen. Even um, because I know you watch it as a uh, what's it? Uh, not Toy Hunter. Even though Zack Ryder was on that. Yeah. Um, but uh, what's it called there with Kevin Smith's guys? Comic book men. They even say the the figure market's way down from what it was because how they've flooded the market. I know what WWE is trying to do with some of their figures now. They're they're, they're giving you an Undertaker figure, but then and then the, inside the box they're put like the head of Paul Heyman, and then John Cena, they'll put the legs of Paul Heyman. Oh, so that so you yeah. have to buy all three to in get in order Paul to Heyman. Ma- yeah, in order to make actually you have to buy four boxes, four different figures. To make a full Paul Heyman figure. And that there's only so many of those. So, I mean, it's it's a smart idea. Because you're, you're making... If they want the full Paul Heyman, they have to buy If you, you want to make a Paul Heyman, you got to open the box. And for people who collect figures and stuff like that, that's a sin, opening the friggin' boxes. Mm-hmm. So, that sucks us into buying two sets, so we leave one in the box, and then we open it so we can build the fucking Paul Heyman doll. And then you sell both. And then you sell both, exactly. <laughs> you sell the built Paul Heyman and the unbuilt yep. Paul Heyman. But it's not just Paul Heyman. They do. It, they have it with like Teddy Long. You can build a Teddy Long. You can build a fucking John Laurinaitis. Really? Yes, you can. That's the one I want. Which I'm surprised that since he hasn't been around in a while. I want the John Laurinaitis. Where did you see that? Um, they're out of the Toys R Us figures. Okay. That that's the only store that's doing it is Toys R Us. That's right. They always get that exclusive stuff. Well, yeah, they Kmart's got their exclusive. Uh, Walmart's got their exclusive. Oh, I'm sure they do. They have separate deals with everybody to maximize profit. Walmart had the uh, t-shirt line. They had like the Macho Man and the Macho Man t-shirt that oh. you could not find anywhere. I went to every goddamn Walmart and I found one. And you didn't buy it? Yeah, I ended up buying it. Okay, but I ended up selling it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Doubled my money. Thanks. Not like anyone here at the podcast loves the Yeah, I know. Um, well, your birthday's coming up. If I can't find a, a Paul Heyman Paul Heyman, Heyman CD. I'm going to get you a yeah. Macho Man. I'll get you a Macho Man figure that you probably throw in a corner and never use. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep it in the box. I'm smart. Hang it up on the shelf. That's right. Um. Oh, so yeah, we were talking about Cena. Yeah, I, I, if they have Cena beat Brock like Brock beat Cena... Kiss Brock goodbye because he's done. But I did see a, I did see something that brightens up Brock's future as uh, saying he's going to win. Yeah. He signed a new deal. Unlimited dates. Really? No amount of set days. So not like his original contract where it was like 13 appearances. Unlimited. So he's going to come back. Well, no, whenever they need him. I don't think it'll be full-time. Right. Because he has to make Babel's... Well, it may be like stable. three SmackDowns in a row. I don't think he'll do SmackDown. I mean, I meant Raw. Yeah. Meant yeah, three Raws in a row. A Raw all the way up to a pay-per-view. Yeah. So why else do you sign him to that deal? So who's his opponent going to be? His next one? That's right. I was teasing Zombie with... Because I had just read who, they, who they're planning to put him up Rowdy against. Rowdy Roddy Piper. No. Damn. He died. He looks so feeble, it's not even funny. But no, Big Show is who they want to put him up against. Again, yeah. again. Uh, I don't know. Can't, him and Big Show, and I mean him and Big Show, have admitted it. Bring out the best in each other. They both say that uh, their early feuds when Brock was first coming up was like one of the some of the best matches they've ever had. The good career. thing about the Big Show now is he's lost a lot of weight. And he's he looking, can move in the ring again. Yeah, he's looking pretty good weight-wise compared to that video we saw. Or oh, yeah. the where he looked just fat as shit. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> and his titties and everything. So, uh, I, I actually think that might be good. It depends how they stretch it as, I mean, 
I don't think you haven't beat Big Show the way he beat John Cena, where he just dominates him for ten minutes. But is then... that going to be for the title, or I, is that just we're going to think let so, John Cena win the belt? And... I, if John Cena wins his sixteenth belt, tying Ric Flair and dominates Brock Lesnar, I'm not podcasting anymore. Yeah, I think I'm through with watching Raw. I might just become a full-ass TNA guy. I don't even watch Raw. I didn't even watch Raw this week, but I'm assuming all that happened was... It's all build up to the pay-per-view. Yeah. Even the Bella... Bella's got a fucking title shot, so that match at the pay-per-view is now a three-way fight for the title. Yeah, I saw that. Um, Brock Lesnar. Which is kind of uh, ridiculous, but... Any way to get him. Uh, they'll probably win, too. Well, she fought... La- uh, one of the Bellas fought um, Paige last night on SmackDown. Did they win? I don't know. I think it might have been interfered with. Okay, so they're saying... This report is saying that there's no chance Brock loses. Really? Yep. Oh, actually, prior to Hell of- Prior to Hell in the Cell, Brock Lesnar is supposed to be on SmackDown. When's Hell in the Cell? Next pay per view. Hell in the Cell's next pay per view? Yeah. So What's it's Night this? of Champions, this one. You know, I haven't seen a Hell in the Cell in I don't know how long. So that's Thanksgiving. Or is that October? October. What's what's a Thanksgiving? I don't know. That used to be Survivor. King of the Ring. Yeah. It used to be King of the Ring. Maybe Survivor Series? Yes. Sounds possibly. about right. Yeah, because there used to be a big thing at Thanksgiving where they would have a, one of those type of matches, and I thought it was King of the Ring. It used to be. I I can attest to this because I'm on WWE Network enough, and I look through the... When most of the pay-per-views happen, the, the original King of the Rings up through like 98 or all in right. November. That's true. Wow. Um, so what, what do you think? So you, you don't mind... they. They said even though Lesnar beat uh, Show at Royal Rumble, he's big enough that he always is a believable opponent for him. I would think they would give. Th- they're planning on giving Show one more run at the title. I don't think he's he going to win the title. I think they'll let him challenge for it, and that's why. Yeah. But no, he's not going to retire anytime soon. Well, how old is Show? He's going to be in his 40s. 40, 42, 43. But you know what? For his age, I think he might be older than that. For his age, no, maybe not. It's like 40. Anywhere between 42 and 45. He's the taker, right? Yeah. It's anywhere between 42 and 45. I, it's probably easy enough to look up, but... But I don't want to. Either do I. If anybody knows, call us and let us know. Actually, you can't because this isn't live, so... <laughs> um, I, yeah, I think that'll be good. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm really kind of disgusted in the way they're using the Wyatt family. I didn't even see what they do this week with Still, them. Still... Still jobbing. Still jobbing. Still doing the job. They're they're no longer in the they're no longer in the title hunt anymore. Who are they doing the job to now? Stardust. Um. Who are they jobbing? Oh to no, now? they're a heel team. They can't. Um, Stardust and Goldust are going after the titles now. Yeah. So they're fighting them at the, at the at Night of Champions. I hope like they're, they're going to win those. I now that they're a heel team, I actually like them. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. I, I think their whole gimmick and everything is actually, in, and their whole ring presence is pretty goddamn cool right now. Yep. The Wyatt family, I think they're done. I think they're going to, like you said, breaking I think they're going to break that whole fucking up soon, thing up. Yeah. Uh, do you ridiculous. think they repackage all of them? I don't think I Bray, think they'll leave Bray the way he is. Yep. But because, I think the other two get repackaged into yeah. normal guys. I, I'm just wondering when Bray's going to get the title run. Never. You don't think I, he'll have it? Not right now, not as long as John Cena's in the picture? I think, no, I just think the way they've booked him, it's the same reason I don't think Cesaro's going to get a title run. He, they, he had his, they had, they each had their main event spot where, like, they were hot and you with the fans and you could have put them in any match and it would have gotten over. But I think the way they've booked them lately is so bad I think that these, they're not main, they can't be considered main eventers right now. I'm thinking down the road, like, when John Cena's on his way out in about two or three years, these guys are still young enough that they're going to be the main focus of this company. Yeah. So I... I